day 31. <laughs> Every time I try to do something to my hair, it goes higher. Oh, now if we make that, like I know it's way too high, but what if we make it evenly high? So I look like some crazy person. Um, I talked earlier today on a video before this about going through some trauma and uh, <clears throat> experiencing it and seeing it. And uh, it was something I was in when I was talking about it. And then it was something I could see. So it would still be there and then I could see it. Well, it's now the end of the day. And when you spend the day in your head and distracted by stuff, a day seems like it can blow by. <clears throat> but when you're really facing your stuff, a day can seem like forever. Today all day I've been feeling with myself, just feeling my mind and my body. Because if you don't know, I'm doing a thing where I'm just alone for, it sounds stupid, but just alone for 10 days meets uh, doing a juice fast for 10 days. And uh, there's a lot in me that uh, you get to face when you do that. Because when you start doing either of those things, you feel the ego coming up because um, eating is something, I mean, I, I've eaten very healthy, but I still do it unconsciously. So food is a total addiction in a way. I eat healthy, but I still just like crazy sometimes and don't realize it. And then um, people in my life, attention is another one. Um, I have an amazing team. Uh, when I grew up, I was best friends with my mom, so I've always felt connection with people is really important, but I now am starting to identify it also uh, can be an addiction to stop you from feeling your own things. So at times where I'd start to feel something, I'd immediately want to talk it out with someone else, and I'd really want them to understand it too. And it's almost like that's the way that I stop myself from understanding it, by just talking it out um, and, and then trying to get them to get it, but not really getting it with myself. And I've reached some new point in my life where I'm being told that by myself, like I just feel this calling that says, just spend 10 days alone. Like right now, I'm not even talking to my team. We're just texting each other and business stuff, but... We're not communicating right now because I just really, really need to hear what the childhood me wants me to hear. <laughs> These thoughts that have been coming up forever that I've been ignoring because I can. It's been very easy to ignore it. And there's been a lot of things that you don't identify as addictions, but they are. If we're not hearing what our calling is saying, if we're not hearing what our pain is saying, we're only doing that because we're in an addiction and it's the end of the day and I feel so connected to myself and I feel like a transformation in myself is happening so fast that it's I can almost see it like it's so fast that I can see it it's the end of day two of this experiment and earlier today I felt this stuff where I wanted to talk it out with friend. I guess I'm doing it here, but I kind of don't count this. Um, and feeling some stuff where, you know, just noticing how much I wanted to eat or look at when I would go to a restaurant as the future excitement to block me from feeling what I'm feeling. But I don't have those things. And I'm just chilling at my place and just being with myself all day, doing some stuff, just doing some being, you know, hardly online at all just feeling whatever the hell I need to feel. And I feel this child in me that I didn't know was there, you know? We're always growing, and the next thing will reveal itself once you take care of the first thing. So now what's happening is I felt this calling to be alone for a while, and there's a darkness in that. There's a feeling in that. There's a pain in that, but it's in order to accept that pain to transcend it 
I think sometimes people, I think every once in a while someone hears these videos and goes, man, you're being so depressing. And to me, it's much more depressing to not face this stuff, to, to put on a giant fake smile with all this pain under you and not need it and use it and, and, and bring your creativity to the world. I mean, Brian Wilson, Louis C.K., these are guys that clearly are meeting that edge in their body the greatest musicians, the greatest whatever, you know, Prince, Michael Jackson, these people were writing from that pain. Many comics that I've worked with, many people. And what we do when we feel it is we go, I, I don't want to be alone with myself. Let's get to the bar and get screwed up. Let's, let's go party. And sometimes that's great to do. But if you're doing it to run from yourself, after a while, man, <laughs> that stuff starts to build up and I can feel when you look into it at first it's horrifying you go for a couple days of just chaos and pain but oh I'm starting to feel a power coming in a knowing a being with myself uh, it's embarrassing to say but a man like a power and it's because I'm not running from it and it's hard there's so many opportunities that we have to stop us from feeling it and then it'll just start to bite us in the butt later but it's coming up always that's why we're like this on our phones right we're doing this on our phones because we can't just be here and there's so much of it always trying to come up and it's like, let it come up. Let it come up. Because it, it, I feel so connected to myself. I feel less addicted. There are people from my past that used to be addictions to me. Um, that my ego wanted. But now that I get in my soul... Um, it doesn't. It sees that I was in some ways uh, not being treated right. It sees that in some ways I was um, this unworthy child around them. And I, it's not what I want. Like when I look at it, it's crazy. And then there's people who've been there for me so sweetly. Um, and that, and and I care for them more. Um, because I care for me more, and I can see the love that they were being for me. And you know, I can see it in everybody, but I can see the effort and the love in some people. And you know, when you're in the addictive side, you choose the people that aren't giving you that love. You choose the people that you can overcome something with because they throw you a lot of challenges and then you can show them I fixed that one and as I sit here with me I, I lose that addictive little unworthy boy and move into my man and I see the people who are giving the, the most amazing sweetest effort on the planet to me to the world and you start to really find that you align with people who move from their heart they're, they're, you know, and, and really, but right now, that's just where I am on day two. But I feel, I know that things are different. And it's day two. But I can, ex I can ex feel the transformation. I felt this guy in a trauma situation earlier. And it would have been very easy earlier to distract myself from that. Just, just go coach someone even, go talk to other people, go be, but like, when I sit here all day and feel it, <laughs> and I'm just alone making juices on the couch, well, in the kitchen, and then drinking them on the couch, um, I start to see that there was a me that was in the past and the future doing that, and now I'm in my body looking at that, and it feels amazing. 
Because now that guy's gone. It's an illusion. That was someone protecting themselves from the future and not being here. And I can realize that was my go-to way of being, right? That was my, that guy that I just let go of was who I was. I was, I was possessed by that, but didn't know it until I finally sat with myself. And we're just getting started. Day 31.